Ready, show me. We're ready. Hey everybody, it's Marla Sue with Nashville Music Space, and I'm here with Nashville for Africa, and these are the Lost Boys and Girls of Sudan. Uh, how important is education for people in Africa? It's kind of connecting Africa with so many parts of the world. When we had no education in the first place, we were not well connected with other parts of the world. We were living in rural areas, and we can even adapt now the technology. Since we have been brought to the United States through the help of those who have good heart, like those who are setting up this occasion today. What kind of goals and dreams do you have for yourselves? Uh, mine is to acquire a lot of educations and be like other important people that I have seen around here today. What about you, sir? Yeah. Uh, my interest is, I'm interested in pharmacy. In pharmacy? Yeah. And I really don't know, but I'm trying very hard to get this here. But I know very well that education is the only key to anything. The only key. Knowledge is power. Yeah. It's the key to, to That's get out of poverty. The true freedom is knowledge. Awesome. Now, what can people do to help people in Africa and Sudan? Besides coming to this concert, what would be the great thing for people around the world to do? According to me, uh, money is not a big issue. The big issue is for us to be educated and for us to go and help them technically through the knowledge that we get here in America. And, uh, and then they can know that we learn from America and we provide them with knowledge. And that would be great help. Then uh, maybe money cannot be found all the time, but to educate who is close to you first, to go and educate others. Right. Teach them something. Teach them she something. Can say something. Yes. Tell me about that. Uh, the important thing is uh, to learn more about Africa, what is really Africa about, and how they really are, not just the stuff you see on TV and believe it. And you can help them through like your prayers, you can pray for them, and visit sometimes and see them, they can help them a lot. Yeah. Pray, pray for Africa seems so easy. Really. Yeah. I mean, it yeah, seems so easy. Yeah, what, on, top, on top of what she said, it's only that you can only just spread the word, tell your neighbor about Africa, and what is that you want to do for Africa. It's not only, uh, you can go there, buy something. Africa can produce anything. Africa can produce oil, can produce gold, you let you go buy it. And when you buy it, you have building school. So that, uh, what I can add on top of it. When people have a bad day, what advice could you give them to, you know, Americans are really spoiled. You guys have been through some really tough times in your life. If people are having a bad day, what would you recommend? Uh, according to me, I believe nothing to be a bad day. Every life is rotating. Every time you're happy, expect something bad to happen too. And you can know that all the living God, all the living people always have problems. And whenever you put your problem as above the other people, it can damage you. But if you simplify it and make it as easy as stuff, then it can be like other people's problems. Yeah. In addition to what you said, do not run away from your problem. You have to face it. Because if you run away from it, it will make you sick and it can run you down. So look at it, face it. Know what is that you need to get out of that. So that's what I can say. You guys are amazing. I feel so inspired. You're watching Nashville Music Space with Marla Sitton. We're reaching the world. We're helping Africa. And we want all of you people out there to donate, to educate, to talk about it, and pray for Africa. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.